Shalom Yashala. I'm going to start this lesson by giving all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing, all truth, all wisdom belong to our power, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Yakwakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and wool will well to the Yakwakudash and salutation to you, Akiam, that's in how is in bow is doing this work in truth and sincerity to at the four corners of the earth and most respect unto the elect and the full elect, sons and daughters of Yashallah that step into the way of righteousness in the name of Yahawah, Wah Yahusha Mashiach, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. To this lesson is about behold his soul which is lifted up lifted up is not upright in him they have him imagined wickedness mischief in their heart he saw Edom the Edom those Edomites the so called white man have imagined mischief in his heart to target Jakes to target Jacob you so called black Latinos and American to target the poor of our people of Yash Allah Right? And target the other nations too. And his own too. Because if the man is not good to himself, who can he be good to? Okay? And I got a video to show you that this man eh, 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 is plotting. He's plotting against the just. Okay? Let's play the video. This is from GMS Austin Man. Only in the mind of an Edomite. Jab and fruits and vegetable. Okay. As you can see. Okay. Let's go back. Let's go. Let's play the video. Quick. Something a, a lot of us have never thought about. Vaccines in the fruits and vegetables you get at the store. Some lawmakers say it could be a reality soon and they're looking to create some new rules to keep Tennessee in safe. Tony Sloan's live from the state capitol to tell us more about this legislation. Good morning. Hey, good morning, Ben. Well, we want to make it clear that there are no vaccines in your lettuce or tomatoes when you go grocery shopping right now. But lawmakers say it may be a question of when, if not, if. Now, Representative Scott Spiggy says researchers in California have perfected putting vaccines into certain foods. So he's crafted a bill to make sure that you know whether you're picking up a tomato with a vaccine in it or not. As an example, now basically he says that this is a consumer protection bill that will make sure you know what you're buying. He says before this comes to Tennessee, there needs to be safety measures in place to protect you when you shop for yourself and your family. If you're going in to buy tomatoes and there's a polio vaccine in there, that you are aware of what you're buying has a polio vaccine. The problem you have is, if it's not treated as a pharmaceutical, being the size and difference between you and me, how many tomatoes do I have to eat to get the proper dosage versus how many tomatoes do you have to eat? And if you eat too many, do you get a, a overdose? So it's raising a lot of questions. Representative John Ray Clemens questioned whether having vaccines in fruits and vegetables is legal in Tennessee. And if not, is the legislation necessary? So Picky says having something in place is better than not. The protection passed its latest House committee vote just last week. But of course, we'll let you know what happens. Something a, a lot of us have... As you can see, okay? And now, as you can see that, that the wicked is plotting, he saw Edom, and then they make their own tongues falling upon themselves. Let's bring a couple of scriptures, man, to show you, okay? And that's why the Lord make us have watchmen in the highways and byways, have watchmen making videos to warn the people, okay? Let's go to Ezekiel 3 and 17. Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Son of man, have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me. It is a commandment from Yahweh, powered by Hashem Yahushai, when they will make you a watchman to give our people the warning. When you see an enemy come, you blow the horn. When you see an enemy plotting against your people, you blow the horn. You tell your people, you tell Yash Allah, you tell Jacob, because our people are so these children. They're stiff neck. 
you have to keep telling them that Esau Edom, especially the elite of Esau Edom, is plotting against them to destroy them because they are the poor of Yash Allah. Because the enemy hate Esau Edom, hate Jacob. And that's why Esau Edom is doing all those things. He see our awakening and now they're plotting against us, man. And that's what they're going to put an end to this nation, to that nation, Esau Edom. Okay? And show you, man, those people are not playing. Let's go to Abacook. Now let's go to Proverbs first. Let me see now Proverbs. Let's go back. Proverbs 4. Verse 16. Proverbs 4, verse 16. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief. That's a mischievous, mischievous things for them to think of. To put jabs and fruits and, 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 and vegetable to prize into power. To target Jacob, man. Target you so-called black Latinos of American. This is a mischief thing. And, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Because they want you to fall. They want to destroy you. They want to kill Jakes. And that's why they're there for. And they're going to get a lot of our people. Okay? For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. All their philosophy, all their thinking is violence, is wickedness. No matter what it is, it's all its wickedness. Because the soul that's in them is not upright in them, man. They cannot do right. Because the Lord, the soul that the Lord put in them is not right. And let's get that scripture. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse uh, 4. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by, by his faith. Remember, we're dealing with Esau Edom. His soul which is lifted up. This man is very pride. He's a pride man. And his soul is not upright in him, man. He also, because he transgressed by wine, he is a pride man. This man is a pride man again. He transgressed by his wine, by his philosophy, by his thinking, by his democracy. By the media, by the, by the, by the weapon that he used, the media that he used. Need to keep it at home. We enlarge his desire as hell. His desire is as hell. You want to bring people to a low place, man. You want to put people to death. Let's look at the, the word uh, 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 hell right here, man. Let's finish reading it. And it's as death and cannot be satisfied. This man cannot be satisfied. He cannot... Eh, eh, you, you want to you wanna, uh, 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 jab the whole hole, man, the, the whole uh, earth. And you want to find a way to do that. See? But got it unto him. All nation and hip unto him all people. That's what he want to do. He want to have control over all the people on this earth. Okay? Let's look at the world hell, man. Sheho, okay? The world, Sheho, okay? Grave, hell, peep. I don't know, okay? Okay? Of extreme degradation and sin this man is sin man this that's what it is man this man is extreme degradation of and sin man that's all he's talking about it's about iniquities and sin okay his desires are as hell a low place man you want to bring everybody to a low place because he's in a low place okay that's all his desire his desire is to sin against the most high man and he cannot be satisfied. Okay? And let's go to Psalm 140. Psalm 140. A, a, to the chief musicians. A Psalm of David. Deliver me, O Yahweh, power by Hashem Yahushai from the evil man. Preserve me from the valley. I mean, this is David praying, man. And that's why we ask Allah. We have to be in the same mind as our king, David, man. Like, I, I praying to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, which imagine 
mischief in their heart. Those people have imagined mischief in their heart. Continually, they the gather together for war. And this thing they're doing, putting uh, uh, those jabs and, uh, uh, and, and fruits and vegetables, that's them uh, uh, doing a biological warfare against the people. Against Yash Allah, against the poor of our people. That's what they're going to put those food at, those, those fruits and vegetables at. With the poor of our people live at. They are sharpening their tongue like a serpent. Others, poison is under their lips. And literally, the people are put poison on those fruits and vegetables. Right? Keep me, O Yahweh, power from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent men who have purpose to overthrow my goings. Their job is to overthrow the goings of the of, Jake's, of Jacob, of Yashallah, of your so-called black Latinos and American, because they know they see our awakening and they want to overthrow our goings, man. Because they know where we're going. They know we're going, uh, 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 calling upon the name of Yahweh Power by Hashem Yahusha. We're going to our power. We're going back to our power, Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. And they want to overthrow that because they want us to rely on them. Because if they make us sick, they poison us. Hey, we're gonna call. Hey, hey, we're gonna tell them. Oh, we need to kill us. Hey, but hey, but our hope supposed to be in the Lord. Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. Okay, and exactly. That's exactly who we're calling upon, man. And that's why the Lord is watching those things and tell us how wicked their wicked heart is, because uh, they, they, they imagine a a a a mischief in their heart. And let's get that real quick. Let's go to uh, Genesis, right? Genesis. Uh, this is six, six and five. Genesis chapter six, verse five. And the Mosiah and God and the uh, Alahayim saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Those people, Esau, Edom, have uh, have uh, have the, the, the imagination of the thoughts of this of the, in their mind uh, are only evil continually. That's the evil things, okay. And he repented the Lord that he have made men up on the earth, and he grieved him in his heart. And Yahweh power, I will destroy men who have created from the face of the earth, and the Lord will destroy Esau, Edom that he have created. Man, the Lord gonna destroy that man. Both men and beasts and the creepy things and the fowls of the air, for you repeated me that I have made them. But no, I found grace in the eyes of Yahweh power and the, and the elect of Yashala gonna find grace in the eyes of Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. But the Lord gonna destroy Esau Edom and the two thirds of our people that wanna hold hand with him that accept the way of Esau Edom. That's exactly okay. And shame, the line of shame to Jacob and the twelve patriarch of Jacob, gonna find a the elect of the twelve child of Jacob, gonna find grace in the eyes of Yahweh power by Hashem, just like Noah I find grace. But the Lord gonna destroy many men upon this earth, man. And two thirds of people gonna go too. With, the, with those people, man, for those who, for their wickedness, I've continued polluting the whole earth, man. Okay? And let's go to, uh, and show you how wicked those people are, man. Let's go to Psalm 10 and 4. Let's start 10 and 2. Why standest thou afar off, O Yahweh power? Why hardest thou thyself in time of in trouble? In time of trouble? It's the time of trouble right now. This the Jacob, we're gonna enter Jacob's trouble with all those things that it is plotting, man. The wicked and his pride do persecute the poor. It's a persecution. Let them be taken in the device that they have imagined, and they imagine those wicked devices to put uh, or, uh to put uh poison in those fruits and vegetables, man. For the wicked busted of his heart desire. You see, this is the man's heart desire, this is in his mind to desire those things and bless the covetous. This is the covetous thing for Esau to do, man. Whom the Lord abhorred, the Lord abhorred, the Lord despised this man. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High. God is not in all his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. This is grievous ways, man. That judgment are far above out his sight. As for all his enemies, he puff at them. Okay? 
he say in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. That's the way he's thinking. His mouth is full of cursing and deceit. And fraud under his tongue is mischief and vanity. All those things he's thinking about, he's speaking about, is all mischief and vanity. Okay? He's seated in the lurking place of the villages and secret places doing murder the innocent. That's exactly what he's doing. Poison those fruits and, and vegetables. He's trying to kill the innocent of our people. His eyes are privily set against the poor. And who's the poor? Yashallah. His eyes are privily set against the poor. He lie and wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lie and wait to catch the poor. He do catch the poor when he's drawn him into his net. He's going to catch two-thirds of our people, man. Because they don't have the protection of the Most High. Because they refuse to listen. They refuse to hearken unto the voice of Yahweh, power by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. And, and they refuse to hear the prophets, that the, the watchmen that they have put upon the wall of Jerusalem, man. He crushed it in himself and humble himself that the poor may fall by the strong ones. He have said in his heart, God has forgotten. He had his face. He will never see it. They think in their mind that the Lord is not seeing it. To where they, they're doing the secret counsel. But the Lord see it, man. And the Lord going to destroy them for that, man. Because they know, the, the Lord know they imagine mischief in their heart. They imagine wickedness in their heart and the Lord going to destroy them for their wickedness because with their wickedness, they have pulled the whole earth. And they're doing bio, biological warfare. And in, in their heart, is war. They always imagine war, man. And they cannot stop. Okay? And let's go to Psalm 64. And they're halfway upon themselves, right? Psalm 64, verse 1. To the chief magician is some of David. Hear my voice, O power, and my prayer preserve my life from the fear of the enemy. That's why we're supposed to pray for that, to Lord preserve our life from the fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insertion of the workers of iniquity. Like he said, it's as hell. His desires are as hell and cannot be satisfied, man. It's as death and cannot be satisfied. Because they work in iniquities, man. They, they, they work in sin, Okay who wet their tongue like a sword and bent their bows to shoot their house, even bitter words, that they, they may shoot in secret at the perfect, suddenly that they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage him themselves and an evil matter. This is an evil matter. They commune they, of laying snare privily. They say we shall see them. That's exactly what's in their mind. They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. But the inward thoughts of every one of them and their heart is deep. This is a deep thing. And, it's, and that's an evil matter. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded. So they may sh shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. That's exactly what, 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 what this man is doing. He's talking of eh, 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 their own tongues falling upon themselves. And now that the elect and the and, and the watchmen and the and the, and the brothers that the Lord have waking up to the truth. I seen this man for who it is, and now we we uh, we fleeing away. Okay, that's exactly what we're doing, man. We are fleeing away from this man. Okay, that's why I said uh uh a hey, proverb uh twenty two and three. A prudent man foresee foresee the evil, and hide himself, but a simple person and are punished. See, we're supposed to be prudent out here. We're supposed to watch for those things. We see the evil men. We see the evil things they're doing in their heart to come against the poor of Yashala, to, to come against uh, 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 the righteous men. Now we're hiding ourselves, but uh, but the simple pass on and are punished. And if you're being simple, you don't think this thing gonna be going to do harm to you. You're going to be punished by the Mosai. You're going to be punished by this man. Okay? And the Mosai is going to let him do it, man. If you're being simple about it, okay? And let's go to uh, Sirach. Sirach, uh, chapter 14, verse 5. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? 
he should not take pleasure in his good. See, this man's not, the people, the, the, his people is not going to take pleasure in his goods, man. Because this man is evil to himself. To him, he can be good. If he's not if evil to his own people, you think he's going to be good to you, Jakes? You so-called black Latinos and American? This man hates you for God. There is none worse than he that envy himself. This man envy himself. And this is a work of of his wickedness. And then this man going to self-destruct, man. And if he do good, he do it unwill unwillingly, and at the last, he will declare his wickedness. If this man is saying, oh yeah, this thing going to be good for you. He's not doing it for, for, for your good. He's doing it for unwillingly, man. The envious man have a wicked eye. He turn away his face and despise men. And this man despise all the men on the earth, even his own people. See? A covetous man, I, is not satisfied with his portion. The in, in the iniquity of the wicked dry up his soul. And that's why his soul, which is in him, is not, it, it, behold, the soul that's in him is not upright in them. A wicked eye envies bread and is naked at his table. He's not spending money to do good. He's spending money to do evil. And that's why he's naked as his table. Because this man is, uh, uh, is insufferable, man. At his table, man. He's not satisfied with anything. And that's what the Lord going to punish him. Okay? That's exactly what it is. And let's get the last scripture real quick, man. And close this lesson. Let's go to uh, New Testament. Let's go to Ephesians. Uh, Ephesians 5. And 16. Ephesians 5, verse 16. Verse 5. It's Ephesians 5, verse 15. See then. Okay, let's, let's start at 14. Where, wherefore he said, Awake though, that sleepest, away, arise from the dead, and, and Amashiach shall give delight. See, this is the light that the Messiah, how Shamashi are giving us, that we see those things that's coming. We see the enemy coming, right? See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fool, but as wise. Know what's, what's, what's going on around you. That seems to be circumspect, circumspectly, right? Circumf circumference, right? It's like around, around you. Watch what's going on around you, man. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understand what the will of Yahweh is. This is the will of Yahweh for this man to do what he's doing. And be not drunk with wine, where in, in excess is excess, but be filled with the spirit of Yahweh, powered by Hashem Yahshai. Speaking to yourself in psalm and hymn and spiritual song, singing and making melody in your heart to Yahweh, in your mind, go to the psalm, read it. Go to the psalm of David and ask the Lord to protect you from this man. To keep you far away from the from the violent man, which imagine mischief in his heart. Give thanks always for all things unto the Mosa Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai and the Father in the name of our Lord Amashiach Yahushai. That's how we say by Hashem Yahushai. Submitting yourself one to another in the fear of the Mosa, because we know to the fear of the Lord. We push with men out here. Because now, what you're seeing, what Esau Edom is doing, this is the fear of your heart, power, by Hashem, Yahushai. And when you fear the Lord, you're going to know that the Lord put all those wicked things in the heart of Esau for him to do. Okay? And you're going to stay far away from these things. You're going to fear your heart, power, by Hashem, Yahushai. We're going to try to keep his commandments, his statutes, and his laws to the best of your ability. And you're going to go in the highways and byways. You're going to make videos to warn the people of things to come. Or, or, or again, the warning of the enemy coming, of the enemy plotting against them, against Yashara, against you so-called black, Native American, you so-called black Latinos, American, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man is plotting, the elite of the so-called white man is plotting against you. And that's why we're not supposed to trust our enemy, okay? And anything, okay? Let's go that. Let's go to Siwak. With the last 12 and 10. It 
see what she's 12 verse 10. Never trust thy enemy. For lack as I unwasted, so is his wickedness. Is his wickedness. Though he humble himself, just remember, he saw Adam is the enemy. He saw Adam, the so-called white man, is the enemy. Though he humble himself, never trust your enemy. Though he humble himself and go crashing, he yet take good heed and beware of him. Beware in everything that this man does, in every law that he pass. When he say that's, that's for your good, hey, beware of this man and don't trust him. And thou shalt know that his words have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he have over thee, he stand up in thy place. That's exactly what they have done. That's why they call themselves Jews right now. It's Amalek, those, those 1948 ers They're not the real thing. But hey, we set them by us, man. And now they stand in our place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And do at the last remember my words and be quick their way. Pay attention. Be sick, be sick on spec. Who will pity a charmer that is baiting with a serpent and as such as come not wild beasts? You see? Now, with, with, eh, 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 if you take uh, uh, the job, if you don't, if you're not circumspecting, if you're not reading the label that's in, in, in those food and those foods. And those vegetables and those meat that's on you and now see you're gonna be bit by a serpent in as in as such as come wild beast so one that go to a sinner and defile with him and his sins who will pity and with that yash Allah, you so-called black latin american gonna close this lesson by giving all praise and glory to yahawa Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Kakodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us will well and will will well to the Akakodash and salutation to you, Akiam, that's in how is in Bowers doing this work and truth and sincerity to have the four corners of the earth and most respect unto the elect and to full elect sons and daughters of Yashala that step into the way of righteousness in the name of Yahawah, Wah Yahushai Mashiach, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom.